what is happening y'all jay here and in this shadow of the earth tree video we are going to do a complete walkthrough of the most dangerous place in this dlc the abyssal woods and if you want to know how to get to this place i have made a separate video on that and i'll link that in the description below and in this 100% walkthrough i'm going to show you how to kill the untouchables and we need to kill a special one which drops one of the best talismans collect all the rare items and finally find the way to the castle which has one of the finest boss midra and to do all of this in the safest and fastest way possible okay so from the forsaken graveyard site of grace we need to head south really south to find a church here so you need to head straight from here until you reach the graveyard trial site of grace From the graveyard trial, we need to head further south and on our way, we are gonna get invaded by the madding hand and he's gonna drop a very fancy weapon which afflicts the target with madness. He is actually not very hard to beat and from there, we need to keep following the path south to finally activate the map of the area and reach a next site of grace. Now at the abandoned church, there are two items we need to collect. The Skadootry Blessing which is right in front of you. And then from there turn left to collect the Frenzy Flame perfume bottle. It's now time to leave the church and head west here where we have another treasure waiting for us. After collecting the Ghost Glove Worth 7, we need to now move northwest to collect a very special talisman, which I'll show you on the map as soon as we reach there. Okay, uh, to kill the untouchable, we need to first let him get behind you and there is no way to dodge this. Now, quickly turn around and parry. And if you parry him as soon as he moves his hand, you will get the parry. It's always worked for me. And with that, we have the Aged One's Exaltation Talisman. From here, we continue our linear journey forward as I do here until we meet the next untouchable who is right up ahead i do try and sneak around it but yeah he catches wind of me but again parry just as he moves his hand you will get the parry timing and i believe he's gonna drop a swollen grape yep Continue your linear journey forward and we need to reach here, our next side of grace. Mm -hmm. 
From the abyssal woods grey side, we need to head north to this marker where we have some more treasure to collect. There are a bunch of enemies here, so take care of them and you're gonna find a Skadutri Blessing and a Smithing Stone 7. So, from the Abyssal Woods Grey site, which we just activated, head straight and follow my path and on my way, we are gonna sneak past 3 untouchables, so follow me. From here, you want to climb the rocky structure and say hello to this very special bird. And from here, we hit this grey site. From here, you want to turn back and climb that hill-like structure to get a mad cookbook one. Okay, so we have one more treasure to collect and from there, we head to the man's hall where you're gonna find the boss Midra. On the map, you need to head southeast. So, go straight from the divided falls site of grace, cross these big trees until you reach here where we need to turn right. To then go a bit forward and come across these enemies. So you know you're on the right path. Now you simply gotta climb up the hill to get to the treasure we are here for. Now, we simply need to move southwest, which basically involves climbing down the hill in the southwest direction and cutting through the mist. At the distance, you can see the man's hall. So, that's about it. My next video drops tomorrow, which is the complete guide on the Saint Trina quest line. And that's a fascinating quest. So for that and more Elden Ring videos, a like and a sub would be simply lovely.